It's happening. It's freaking happening. Mortal Kombat 2 has been confirmed. The action-adventure movie based on the blockbuster video game will get a sequel this year. New Line has already hired Jeremy Slater to write the script for Mortal Kombat 2. We don't know much about the premise, but as Slater said, it will be bigger and better and bloodier that's going to blow people's minds. I am Sub-Zero. Round 1 – Fight This movie has been in development for a very long time. We had the original Mortal Kombat back in 1995, and then a sequel, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which was an absolute abomination against humanity. There are millions of Mortal Kombat games worth of storylines that lore put out there over the years involving multiple timelines and resetting those timelines. All you need to know in the Mortal Kombat world, it's divided into two different dimensions called realms, with the Earth Realm being the home of our heroes and the Outworld being the home of Shang Tsung and his boss, the conquering emperor Shao Kahn. Earth Realm is actually our own world, a place where White Lotus society protects us from the possible invaders. There are some minor realms as well, such as Adenia, which is used to be an idyllic and magical realm and was under the control of King Jared and Queen Sindel. And last but not least, Nether Realm, an underworld of Mortal Kombat, and home of demons, specters, and Elder God Shinnok. The realms are controlled by the Elder Gods, whose duty is to maintain balance and order. To prevent the Outworld from becoming too powerful, they've set up an interdimensional fight club called Mortal Kombat, and this fight club has a few rules. The first and the most important rule is if you want to invade another realm and take it over, you have to win 10 Mortal Kombats in a row. And at the point of the movie's beginning, Outworld has won 9 out of their needed 10. So as we know that evil never sleeps and the villains never play fair, Shang Tsung has decided to manipulate and break the rules of the fight club and sends out his thugs like Reptile aka Sizoth, to track down and kill anyone with a dragon mark on them. The MMA fighter Cole Young finally discovers what his dragon birthmark means and he realizes that he is one of the chosen champions. When Prince Goro comes for his family, Jax will also realize that he has superpowers when Sub-Zero turns his hands into popsicles. However, nobody can just get the superpowers right off the bat. They can only unlock their arcana through training and some sort of deep emotional moment. Get over here. Mortal Kombat 2 is officially happening. New Line and Warner Bros. will take us back to the fighting scene once again, and they will take the necessary steps to continue the franchise. Jeremy Slater, known for his scripts for The Lazarus Effect, Fantastic Four, The Umbrella Academy, and many more, has already been hired to write the script for the sequel. We're building something bigger and better and bloodier that's going to blow people's minds, said Slater. The first movie reached a huge popularity, so the green light for the sequel is not a surprise. It took over 20 years to get Mortal Kombat back on the screen, but it is unlikely that the sequel will take more than two years. Rumors suggest that multiple Mortal Kombat follow-up movies are in development, but as the officials from New Line said, the movie will be a top priority. The video games were a big part of our childhood, and that's why the fans are so impatient. It's been almost a year since the latest live-action Mortal Kombat movie premiered on HBO Max and in theaters. The sequel has been announced almost immediately, and it seems like many original stars will return. The first movie was directed by Simon McCoy, and the main protagonist was the British actor Louis Tan, playing the MMA fighter Cole Young. However, he is not yet confirmed as a character for the sequel. We know only one thing. We are more than sure that we'll see Joe Taslam playing noob Saibot, who had the role of Sub-Zero in the previous movie. All of those who played the game know that the original Sub-Zero will transform into an evil shadow. Everybody expected Johnny Cage to appear in the first movie, but it seems like we'll see the fighting champion in the sequel. There is still no official information about the contracts of Makad Brooks, Jessica McNamee, and Shin Han. The fans' wish list is very long but it was indicated at the end of the first movie that we might see Katana in the sequel. There is a perfect setup for Shiva this time, and we know that Shang Tsung will fill up the role of the main villain. Fans think that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be a perfect fit for Kotal Kahn, and Ryan Reynolds could take the place of Johnny Cage. They both have physical characteristics, but their fully booked calendar might be an issue. 
Director Simon McCoy said sequels are a bit tricky because you can't totally ignore them because that wouldn't be a smart move, but none of us use the S word. That being said, if the fans want another one, that's not for us to decide. That's for the fans to decide. The ending of the first movie makes it so easy to continue the story. Shang Tsung has been defeated and that situation is promising revenge before he goes to the outworld. He'll probably try to gather a stronger army, including Sub-Zero. On the other side, the remaining champions of Earth will try to find more fighters, and in that list, they'll probably include Johnny Cage. McCoy said that in the sequel, he would like to see more female actors, and given the fact that there are some fantastic female characters, this could be a case that'll bring a better balance in the second movie. There are countless characters in the game, many of whom didn't find a place so far but that doesn't mean they won't appear at some point. For example, Johnny Cage was mentioned in the ending of the first movie, and we can only imagine how he, Cole, and Sonya will get along in the sequel. Death is not permanent in Mortal Kombat, so that clears the path for another story. Mortal Kombat Annihilation, or known as Mortal Kombat 2, was a movie released in 1997. It was directed by John R. Leonetti, and it was a sequel to the original 1995 movie. Given the fact that this time, the scriptwriter will be Jeremy Slater, we are more than sure that Mortal Kombat 2 will have a much different scenario. However, it might be a good thing to make a short flashback of Mortal Kombat Annihilation. This movie started by continuing from the end of the first one. So, the evil Outworld Emperor Shao Kahn opens a portal from Outworld to the Earth Realm and takes back the Queen Sindel. With the portal open, Earth Realm is at risk of being soaked up into Outworld. This is a fight that Liu Kang and his crew had to finish to prevent this from happening. In the end, Liu Kang finally defeats the Outworld Emperor for good and Shinnok is thrown out to the Nether Realm by the other Elder Gods. The Earth Realm is in status quo, the situation it was before the Outworld invasion, and the Sindel succeeded to reunite with her daughter. Raiden will be revived by the other Elder Gods and will take his father's former position. Production of the first movie began in South Australia on September 19, 2019 and finished on December 13. Therefore, we can expect Mortal Kombat 2 to arrive in the theaters at the end of 2023. The first movie left us wanting more, and the only negative side was that it was over so quickly. The franchise is revived. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the first movie? Do you think that it was as good as the original? What are your expectations and what are your theories? Which characters should appear in the sequel? And what are your actor's suggestions? If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.